Hello everyone. So in this particular video, we are going to see the AWS Glue practical part. So in previous video, we have seen the AWS Glue part where we have seen like how actually we can copy a data, okay, from a source to the destination. But in this video, we are also going to see about some of the transformation which we can use by using a AWS Glue. Okay, so we have some of the requirement based on the requirement. Actually, we will work it. Okay, so what is our requirement? Our requirement is like we have a data that is available in Amazon S3 location and that is an unclean data. So what we have to do, we have to create one data pipeline and in this data pipeline, we have to perform some kind of the transformation and we will try to clean the data and we actually try to store into a uh, another Amazon S3 location. So that is the thing we are going to do in this particular video. So this is your source location that is Amazon S3 location. This is a, a AWS glue here actually we will apply a, a transformation and the finally we will try to store into a Amazon S3 location. So that is how actually we are going to do uh, in this particular video. Okay, so let us start with the practical part. So first I will show you uh, first uh, I will show you the data. Okay, so first we will try to go to the AWS location. I will go to the Amazon S3. Okay, so I, as of now I have a two bucket. If I show you the clean bucket, as of now no data is available. Our output will come into this particular bucket. Okay, and the second is the glue practical. This is the bucket which I have created. Here this is the particular file. If I will show you how actually it looks like. So this look like this. Okay, so we have employee ID, name, salary, address. Okay, we can see there are some column of where no data is available, but uh, that also is present. So what actually we'll do in a transformation layer, we will actually try to remove this particular column. Okay, so let us start with the glue practical. Okay, and we'll see the other transformation also there. Okay, so what we have to do to create. Okay, now what actually we'll do, we will open our glue studio. Okay, so we'll search for the AWS glue. Okay search for the AWS glue okay now we have to click on the in left side you can see right uh, the data catalog click on the crawler first we are going to create a crawler this crawler is going to crawl over all the Amazon S3 file and based on the schema actually automatically it will detect okay and one table will create uh, that actually we will use in our AWS glue studio okay so what actually i will do i will use the glue practical to name name of the crawler this one is the name i am giving okay after that the data source we have to select so what is our data source so s3 path right so path we have to select so that is available in a glue practical so i will select the particular file okay okay once you select right or we can directly give the path itself this is a path I, am, I will give and it will crawl all the subfolder and uh, it will detect the schema click on the add on s3 data source click on the next we are going to create one uh, im role okay so uh, to create a new im role we have to first define so i will give uh, glue frac uh, Two, two. okay this is the name I am giving okay so it will create one uh, new I am role okay later we will also add some policy over there right to interact with the Amazon S3 and all also okay but as of now the glue itself will create to run the crawler okay so this is the uh, name actually we are creating okay once you do that click on the next okay now we have to create a database so add a database give the database name so we will give the database name as a glue pack you can give anything create a database and we'll go back and we'll select that choose a database so we first will try to refresh it and we will select that okay and uh, the, the crawler we are going to run based on the on demand so i will select that click on the next right so this is how the configuration we are done click on the create crawler okay now if you go to the crawler right one crawler will get created okay uh, this is the crawler we have created now we'll click that and we'll try to run it okay once the runs run will complete uh, you will get to see one table will get created okay based on the schema of our amazon s3 location file 
okay so once it will complete we'll see if you'll see you can see one table got created right so we'll go to the in left side you can see the table go to the table refresh it you will be able to see one table okay so this is the table which got created so uh, what actually crawler uh, done crawler goes to the s3 location and it crawl all the subfolder and whatever the file right based on that one schema you will get to see okay based on our file so it automatically detected everything you can see employee id integer name string salary integer address location and email everything based on our file actually it crawled and it gave us the metadata information right now our table is there now what i actually will do we'll try to create one etl jobs so uh, what i will do i'll click on the in left side right click on the etl jobs here we will try to develop over the etl pipeline okay so there are multiple options if you already have script you can select another option but uh, we are going to do with the help of the visual part okay so i'll select that click on the create okay uh, you can see we have a data source transformation and the target location as, as of now what i will do i'll try to delete it and we'll try to create from the scratch okay so this is our source i'll select that s3 bucket is our source right so i'll select that uh, what is the source type so data catalog table right which we have created that is our source we will try to select that uh, which uh, crawler has created so i'll select the database name and the table also i will select this is the table on which our schema is there okay so this one i have selected so our source is now ready now what we will do click here click on the plus and uh, after that we will try to perform some kind of the transformation okay so what i will select i will select the select field transformation so there are a number of the transformation available so suppose you want to perform some kind of the aggregation so you can select the aggregate custom transformation drop duplicate drop fields anything any kind of the transformation you can select from here okay so as of now i am only selecting the select field transformation okay so what actually i will do i'll click here and which particular uh, column we want only to be stored into our target location so that actually only i will select with the help of the select transformation and in location and email there is no data so i will not select this okay so that is what actually transformation i am applying if you want to apply more transformation you can select on the plus and you can add that okay but as of now what actually we are going to do we are going to add our target location so go to the data click on the target what is our target target is nothing but amazon s3 so i'll select that okay so this is our target so for target also we'll select so name is amazon s3 on which format you want to save i want to save into a, a json format only so i'll select that and where actually you want to save for that you have to select so in the clean bucket only i want to save so i'll select that okay now uh, this is what our target is also ready okay now click on the save so that your job will be saved now go to the job details now name we have to give okay so what is the name so this is nothing but a glue practical something name i am giving okay im role we have to select so this one im role we have created right so i will select that and the language and all you can select that a worker type and the number of worker i will select because i am doing only the testing practical so i will select only the two okay number of retry also i will select zero after that click on the advanced property under this advanced property you have to give the script file name also so i will give the glue practical something the script name i will give okay so this is what our uh, things are now ready okay now if i will try uh, now your job is saved right now your job is saved now if you try to run right so you will you you may be able you will get one error okay why you are getting error because in a glue property right whatever the uh, whatever the role we have defined there we haven't defined any kind of the policy regarding the amazon s3 okay if i'll show you so what you have to do first you have to search for the im i will open in a new window click there and we will attach one policy so that is the step we have to follow otherwise you will get error go to the role so this is the one we have created right so i'll select that click on the add permission as of now only the glue service is available we will also attach the s3 policy here so search for the s3 
I'll attach the S3 full access as of now because we are going to write there, right? Add permission. Now, if you'll refresh, it also has a S3 access. Now we'll go to the AWS glue again. Okay, uh, so here now we'll try to run it. Now we'll see whether if we are getting any kind of the error or not. So I started running. Once it will complete, we'll see whether it got succeed or not, and we'll also check the S3 file location. Now, if you will see, it got succeed, right? Uh, now we'll go to the our S3 location, and we'll say we'll see whether our file got copied properly or not. Okay. Now I'll open S3 location, go to the bucket. In a clean bucket only, it should save. Okay. You can see this file is available. I'll click that. I'll try to download and I'll try to show you add it in open with uh, I want to open in a notepad now you can see we have employee ID name we have salary we have address we have location that actually we have removed right so yeah our pipeline is working fine that's it in this video thank you